no way she's getting down in the dark there. Oof, that is steep. Yeah, that would be pitch black. That's a bad, bad place to be in the dark. We're looking at a hiker on Camelback Mountain. A stranded hiker on the side of Camelback Mountain on a really steep section of trail. There he goes. He's uh, pretty close now. He's still in the air, still dangling from the rescue helicopter. She had her cell phone, which she was able to use to signal. Imagine what that's like, dangling from the end of that cable. Certainly quite the scene late last night when rescuers plucked that hiker from a very dangerous trail in the dark. Yeah, so dangerous. We had crews in the air and on the ground at Echo Canyon and all new tonight at 5 Maria Hechenova talked with those first responders about what made the rescue so unique. This was the first time a Phoenix police pilot used night vision goggles to perform this type of rescue. The technology cut down the amount of time it took for them to find the hiker and hoist her to safety. There's the police uh, helicopter spotlight. So this is the night vision goggle system that we currently use. Officer Scott Hopkins with the Phoenix Police Department was last night's rescue pilot. His steady hand and sharp skills helped get close to the mountain and cut the time to lift the hiker off the mountain from seven hours to one. There was a fairly strong wind last night. It's a highly precise maneuver and when you have to battle the wind it makes it that much harder. He says her cell phone light helped him spot her. Phoenix Fire Captain Ken Flickinger was responsible for hoisting the hiker and the firefighter up to safety. Nobody was hurt. Well, night rescues are always challenging. With her position on the mountain, she absolutely is very, very fortunate. Tonight, they credit the collaboration between Phoenix Police and Fire for completing this dangerous rescue mission successfully. It was a remarkable job, and it was one of those things in my 35 years that I'll always remember. So far, only four of the 22 Phoenix police pilots are trained on these night vision goggles, but more are planned to be trained in the future. In Phoenix, Maria Hachinova for Arizona's Family.